Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna share with you all the details that you need to know about USD GPY for 2024. So it will be the ultimate trading guide for 2024 related with USD yen. It will be a fundamental and a technical perspective. So let's begin. We are going to break this down from a weekly time frame. And what we can observe is that on the left side of the structure, the price is test, tested this area here that is dating back in February 2000 and, uh, 1987. So this is approximately 37 years ago. And the current price area that we have is not too far away from this top here that is dating back on 90s. Considering the current uh, situation, that the big speculation related with uh, the USD strength and also the yen, the interest rates that we had during this period of time, we had the first top and we can see that we have the second top. During this moment when all of this was created, was related with uh, the previous problems that we have related to the war between Ukraine and Russia. Later we had the inflation problems and the price reached the peak that we can see here. So our focus will be related with this piece of information that we have on the daily chart. And after all the big problems that all the economies were uh, facing, we can see that the US dollar reached 151.80. Later we had the Bank of Japan intervention in the market and the price moved down very aggressively and it stopped after a 2500 pips down approximately as a movement. Later the market began the speculations again we had other problems related with to the interest rates. All the major economies like the US, uh, they didn't stop growing the interest rates. And we can see all this movement happening. We had also the speculation related with the Bank of Japan because they didn't increase interest rates at all. They said several times that we are going to increase interest rates. We are going to intervene in the market. We are going to change the yield curve control, but since when the price was uh, at this point at 128 at the beginning of January 2023, it was this point here, they didn't take further actions at all. And this created also this movement and pushed USD yen back up to the top, as you can see. So this is very weird because uh, the Bank of Japan didn't support the economy at all. All the other major economies increased the interest rates in order to fight inflation. On the other hand, Bank of Japan said that we are going to take further steps, but so far nothing happened. So, uh, so far this is only a normal release of liquidity. It is normal that at a specific point of time the market is going to release liquidity because it was in oversold conditions. It was very important uh, moment and it was testing the previous top and the market was anticipating also a possible intervention from the Bank of Japan. On the other hand, during the previous month, the Bank of Japan said that uh, they were going to, cha to, to change the yield curve control and probably to begin the first cycle of increasing the interest rates when it was close to the top and the price moves down. This was uh, the reason that we can see the price moving down for approximately 1000 pips so far. But we have to be careful again. Uh, if we are going to look at the left side of the structure, the price already completed this movement from a technical perspective. We have a five wave pattern that already finished. We can see this as a one, two, three, four, five wave or W, X, Y, X, Z, it doesn't matter at all. However, considering that uh, the bigger picture should correct down, it makes more sense that we can be in this situation. And also the fifth wave that we had previously, we can see that we can count also 
a five wave movement also at this point here. So it was completed the Z wave of the fifth wave of a Z wave. So everything looks fine from a technical perspective. And it is likely that the price should continue moving down further from this point. So all the chances are that we may have a type of flat pattern and the price should come close to the bottom, close to 130 approximately. However, it is not going to come down so easily. After this five wave movement that we had, the chances are that we may have an ABC movement as a beginning or probably we may have a five wave movement as it happened on the left side of the structure. So this is a possible scenario that can happen also in the current conditions. If we are going to break this down on a lower time frame, on a four hour time frame, USDN, we can see that we have this pattern that is taking another shape. So we have this type of broadening wedge pattern. And it is likely that the price may bounce again. So the reasons that we may see this movement is because during the previous week we had the Bank of Japan. The market was uh, expecting probably further actions from them. They didn't change the interest rates as it was widely expected, but on the other hand, they didn't share anything new. So they are still speculating with the fact that we are observing the, for, the forex market very closely, but so far nothing is happening. And this is a strong reason that they are not going to do anything at all. They, they are still speculating that probably on the first quarter of 2024, probably they may increase the interest rates. I'm really pessimistic about the topic, uh, to be honest, related with USDM. I don't know if the Bank of Japan is going to take those uh, these actions because they uh, they are big liars. They are not consistent in what they are doing and in what they are commenting during the press conferences. And this is a strong reason that we may see the USD to bounce above this pattern and probably to test the top of the structure where it was at 151.80. We have to be careful. The movement that we can see so far that is moving down at this point, I don't think that this is the beginning of a bearish movement. I would like to exclude this uh, bearish scenario for the moment. The problem is that the market is speculating that the Fed is going to, uh, to cut the interest rates during 2024. It is normal that they didn't share many comments. However, we have to be careful because they didn't say that we are going to, uh, to cut the interest rates for 2024 or uh, furthermore on the first quarter or the second quarter. And this is very important. And it is likely that uh, after this speculation and during the beginning of the new year, we may see USD to bounce above this structural area and it can come close to the top. However, even if this is going to happen, if we are going to look at the bigger picture, I'm not expecting the price to break through the top. So the maximum that it can reach can be the top here. In the normal conditions that I'm looking at, so this is the maximum scenario that I'm looking at for USDM. And the normal scenario that may happen regarding USDM is that we may see the price to create a type of ABC pattern. It can stop somewhere close to the middle zone and later it can move down in this way. We can be in an ABC or in a possible, let's say, W, X, Y, X, Z, it doesn't matter. But what it matters at this moment is that we have to focus on the beginning of the bearish movement that we are expecting. So far, we have to focus on this move, on the bullish move before the price moves down again. Probably in 2024, the market is going to speculate 
again about a possible intervention from the Bank of Japan and we may see the next bearish move. So this is a possible scenario. However, uh, we should know something related with the USDN considering that they have a big uh, gap between the interest arrays. The sell on the USDN pairs have, has a very negative, has a high negative uh, uh, swap rate and this may create huge losses in your account if you are going to sell it. So you have to be careful from the swap rates that are applied related with USDN. On the bigger picture, this is the movement that I'm expecting. So let's see for a bullish move above the pattern and a possible increase before it moves down further. If we are going to suppose that the price is going to, uh, to develop in this pattern again, so if the price is not going to break through the pattern, then the chances are all the time that it may continue to develop this pattern more and it can expand as it did before. However, I'm still optimistic that USDN is going to bounce to create the bullish move before the next bearish movement. However, we are not market makers, so everything can happen and also this movement is possible. So the price can do these moves and it can continue to expand the pattern in this way. Also, this is a possible scenario as well. So let's see what is going to happen. But as long as the Bank of Japan is not going to intervene in the market and to change the interest rates and also the yield curve control that they have, I don't think that the yen is going to recover across the currency board. So this is all uh, what I have, what I'm looking at about USDM. And this is uh, more than enough as analysis for 2024 or as a minimum until the price will be close to the bottom of this area. However, one step at a time, let's see how the price will develop here because I'm going to update this chart again. I hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Thank you so much for joining. Please don't forget to hit the like button and follow. Bye-bye.